All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, more drop tuning tricks. Um, we're going to look at something that uh, Godsmack does. And he, he d does this really cool thing that's a great little songwriting trick that you could use in many different ways and you won't even sound like them. So here we go, we're going to look at that. And, and so what he's doing, he's working off this bottom string here. And so he's doing stuff like this, he's going. Okay, so what we just did there was I, I played the 12th fret and then I played the bottom string open twice. I went. Okay, so I'm going. Okay, and so what I did there was is I hit the 12th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret, 15th fret, back to the 12th fret. So watch. Okay, so there's there's a little tip there. Now, so that we're going to utilize that same pattern now, and we're going to go up and we're going to look at to something else uh, utilizing the flat fifth, and that's going to go like this. It's going to go. Okay, so watch. So what we did here now is we went from the 15th fret to the 17th fret to the 18th fret to the 17th fret. Uh, 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 to back to the 15th fret and then I hit the 12th fret real quick. Now watch. Okay, if you do that fast... Okay, so let's look at a couple of, of scales now that you could use on your bottom string. You can use your rock scale, which is this. Or you can use your minor scale, which is this. Okay, and by utilizing those two scales, you can do stuff like... Or you can chop it up a little bit. So there you go, that's a cool little thing you could do that's all over the place here. Um, you could just, if, as long as you repeat this scale, it just keeps going. So um, I just bet that extra note in there, that's not really there, so there's the notes there. But if you wanted to bend up to it, you could, yeah, but you, you can't use it, uh, uh, as, it'd be hard to use it to go. Actually, that sounded pretty cool. But anyway, so see, I just kind of made up an idea right there. So these are just ideas you could use by using this kind of tu tuning. It, it's endless. Okay, so what I just did there was I just used some, I, I was just kind of, you know, free flowing some uh, notes in there. I just made that up. I just made that up. And wasn't even looking to play anything hard or difficult, just having fun with it, which is what you could do. And then I ended it with this. So when I went. So I just did that as a finalization. That's a third fret and fifth fret power chords. So there you go. There's some more stuff you can do in drop C tuning. Uh, watch for our videos, and we got us. Uh, we're going to be showing you the uh, three octave rock scale and the three octave minor scale in this particular tuning, which are some of my favorites. Watch for those coming up soon. So subscribe, practice, have a great day.